Hi, I thought I'd give a little overview of EMC, which I've been looking at this week. Now, EMC has quite a high learning curve, but for the average user who uses uh, stepper motors like this, I uh, tend to wire mine all with a 5-pin DIN plug and connect a block arrow dyed or epoxy resin to the back of the motor makes it a bit easier reconfiguring it from bipolar to unipolar or different configurations of step for the average user you'll start up your CNC using step conf wizard which makes it very simple to start off the average stepper system but we're going to look at some harder setups which uh, I've gone into recently now for more complicated setups like servo systems and uh, different types of stepper drivers without step and direction configuration you have to start looking at a HAL configuration Now HAL is the hardware abstraction layer and in order to configure your system you're going to need to open a file with a text editor. Now normally it's startup EMC and from here you'd select a general similar configuration from the sample configurations area. Now here we're looking at a servo system where the encoders and amplifiers are accessed via the parallel part and controlled directly by EMC. This is known as the Edge Servo configuration. Now, we've saved a copy of the sample configuration to our EMC configs directory and it's now under Edge Servo and as you can see we have a launch Edge Servo icon but what we will do, we'll open up the HAL file with text editor and modify our PID settings and our encoder configuration to the parallel port pins that we want. Now, having done that, we probably also want to edit the INI file, which will configure things which is uh, so general parameters that you might want to change more often than the HAL initial co configuration which is the port settings. Uh, now the most important part of the INI file will be your servo period and your base period and these must be shorter than your maximum jitter which you will have found from your CNC latency test. Having changed your servo period and base period to be within the jitter and latency of your system, you can then configure your encoder scales and your output scales and other variables. And once that is done, we can then go and launch our X H servo configuration. Another useful thing to say here is that you can add to your HAL file uh, 
options to open other pieces of software, uh, such as here we have HalScope. So you would actually, in your Hal file, put in a command that says load user HalScope. And that means that when you run your Hal configuration, it will load up the HalScope, and HalScope is useful for uh, getting an idea of what signals and uh, inputs, outputs, pin definitions are actually doing when you're running your system. So here we're just sort of clicking on some of the HAL definitions. You see here you click on points and you can uh, select axes and uh, encoder outputs and inputs, I.O. and motion, spindle speeds, all sorts of different uh, definitions which are available in EMC. And uh, then this scope, when running, will show a graphical trace of what those signals are doing. But at this stage we've already configured this and I want to speed things up to actually looking at what we've configured here, which is a HAL with EMC running here. Um, and this is a standard EMCG code file which draws out an EMC axis. Now, before you can get your EMC to run correctly, you will actually have to make sure you switch on your machine by pressing the red button and then resetting it. Um, and then we have to make sure that all axes are homed. So I'm going to home the axis and then I'm going to click on the Y and home it and Z and home it. A and home it and B and home it now it will run before you do that it will give you an error saying X is not home so we're going to flip the camera around here and uh, just switch on the power to our DC drive run it at 12 volts and we can look We actually have a small L298 driver. There's a tiny little board available on eBay for about 10 bucks. Um, and here we have a robot arm. So we're going to click on the run to run the EMCG code. And now it starts moving. <laughs> 